Good evening. 晚上好 Do you know how to say sun in Chinese? And do you know how to say someday, somebody, sometime in Chinese? Don't worry. Today we are going to learn together. And before we before we learn something someday, we should know how to say some in Chinese. Some in Chinese is 一些一些 two characters together means some some plus the noun some ba ba ba. For example, some water. 一些水，一些水。Sometime， 一些时间，一些时间。时间 means time. Some food， 一些吃的，一些吃的。啊、oh, ，吃 means eat， 的 means off。Yes， but 吃的 means food， means something to eat。So the verb plus the means something to eat, or if you change the verb to drink, it means something to drink. 喝的，喝的，喝 means drink. So 喝的，吃的。给我 means give me. 给 means give. 我 means I or me. So give me is 给我 Give me some water. 给我一些水 Give me some time. 给我一些时间。Give me some food. 给我一些吃的。Give me some drinks. 给我一些喝的。Okay. So we learned how to say some in Chinese, but Chinese it's not exactly one hundred percent like follow the rule like English. So we have something new. Okay, let's continue. How do you say something? Something is not some plus thing. It's just something. One word. How do you say this in Chinese? Actually, there are two ways to say something in Chinese. You can say 一些东西一些东西东西 means things, and you can also say 一些事一些事 Both of them means something. But what's the difference between them? Okay, let's see. The first one, she bought something. 她买了一些东西。买 means buy. 买了 means bought. So she bought something. 她买了一些东西。Something you can buy. Something you must you can touch, right? The things is real. Something you can buy, maybe some food, maybe some clothes. So, 一些东西 means something you can touch. It's real. And then the second sentence, 他知道一些事。他 means she 知道。She knows. 他知道。And 一些事 something. She knows something. Something you know. Something you know. The something you can you touch? No. It's not real, right? It's something like a virtual. It's not real. Something you know, maybe, maybe something, some good news, some bad news is something you cannot touch. So it's very easy. 一些东西 and 一些事 both, both of them is something. But the difference between them, 一些东西 is something you can touch. You can touch. 一些事 is something you cannot touch. Okay, 买了知道，知道一些事，买了一些东西 Okay. Okay, we already learned how to say some plus the noun and something in Chinese. But how do we say somebody or someone in Chinese? Actually, there are two ways to say somebody or someone in Chinese. Two ways. The first way is 有人有人 The second way is 某人
某人。Why do you have two ways to say it? Because they will be used in different situation. 有 means to have, right? So 有人 when you say 有人 is somebody, but it's you are sure this somebody is real. This somebody must exist. Okay. Then in this situation, you will say 有人 and then 某人 also means somebody or someone, but it's the situation you are now sure. Maybe. This somebody, it's not real. Maybe this somebody not exist. Okay, so you are not sure this somebody is real or not. You use 某人 and you sure you are sure this somebody exists. You use 有人 It's kind of complicated. So I'm going to give you two good examples. Okay, 有人 Let's read this sentence first. 到了后，有人会告诉你。到了后，有人会告诉你。到了 arrived. 后 after after arriving is like that. After you arrived there. 到了后，有人。会告诉你 ，somebody will tell you. Somebody, somebody will tell you what to do. It's like that, and I'm pretty sure there must, uh, there must have have someone there will tell you. I'm sure. So I use 有人到了后有人会告诉你 Okay, I'm pretty sure someone. Who is real? Who will tell you? Okay, so I use 有人到了后有人会告诉你 Okay, and this one. 将来的某天，某个时候，你会爱上某人。将来 future. 某 actually 某 also you can translate 某某 Put as something. Mo put as something is like a some. For example, someday, 某天天 means day. 某天 someday, 某个时间 sometime, sometime. Okay, and 某人 somebody because 人 means the person or people. 某人时间 means the time, sometime. 天 means day, someday. 将来的某天 or 某个时间你会爱上某人。将来 means in the future. In the future. In the future, someday or well, sometime. And you will fall in love with someone. 你会 you will 爱上 fall in love. You will fall in love with someone. But maybe you will not, because you know someone they can be single. Their whole life, it's okay, right? So I'm not sure you will fall in love with someone. I'm not sure this someone. Who is this someone? And、uh, this someone is real. Maybe, maybe this someone、um, even not exist, right? <laughs> so in this situation, you have to use 某人某人 You will fall in love with someone, but maybe. This is someone, it's not real, unfortunately. Okay. So, 某天 someday, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which day, because I even don't know this person is real or not. Sometime, maybe, I'm not sure when. Okay, but 有人 is you sure there must be someone. You pretty sure. Okay. So, 到了后，有人会告诉你，有人 I'm one hundred percent sure there must someone because I went I went to there many many times and there's the staff and the staff will tell you and my friend will tell you so 有人 I'm sure one hundred percent sure but 某人 you will fall in love with someone. Of course, I'm not sure. I guess right. 
I know God. How how do I know the one you 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 will fall in love is real? What if somebody uh the one is not real? Okay, so you are not sure, Mauren. Okay, so some sometimes it's very easy. Sometimes we can say 有时候 or 有时 有时 or 有时候 Okay, we learned this before Okay, so 有时候我不在家 Sometimes I'm not at home 我不在家 不在家 If you want to say Sometimes I'm at home 我在家 I'm not at home 我不在家 Okay, so we learned somebody or someone, something some plus the some uh the noun and we meant 一些, 一些, some plus the noun 一些水, some, some water 一些时间, some time 一些吃的, some food and we all uh we also learned like two ways to say something 一些东西, or 一些事, 一些东西, something is real real and you can touch 一些事, something is virtual, you cannot touch, okay, something. And uh, 有人, somebody, 某人, somebody, but 有人 is 100% sure, there must someone, and uh, some someone for real, 某人, you are not sure, maybe, it's like that. And uh, someday, 某天, sometime, yeah, uh, 某个时间, okay. Sometimes, 有时候, okay. If you have any questions, please leave some comments. If you don't have any questions, please leave some comments to encourage me to continue to, to make more good videos for you, okay. Thank you for watching today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.